Hello to all the people who are watching. I hope you all are doing great. Uh, let's start with the tutorial. In this tutorial, you are going to learn that how to add customize single product page by adding a chorusel to the thumbnail images by using code only. We are not going to use any plugin for this. We are using code to achieve this goal. This is the single product page which is created by WooCommerce when you add products. Initially, like by default, all these images are at the bottom of this big image and they are horizontal. I have changed the position of this image to the right side of the big image and display them vertically. Now I will add thumbnail chorusel to these images. The steps which you need to follow to achieve the thumbnail chorusel are these steps. One by one we will follow these steps and at the end you will achieve the slider of the thumbnail images. Now let's start with step number one. Here as we have more than four images, total we have ten images. First we need to limit the images to four and hide the other image. For this you need to make changes in the CSS code. Now how will you identify that in which CSS class you need to make changes? To check the code of this particular element, right click on the element and then click on inspect. Here you can see this is the code of the image. We don't want the code of the image. We want the CSS class in which all the thumbnail images are as you can see. This is the class. From here, you will get the class in which you need to make changes. I am using a plugin which is called Code Snipped. This is a very powerful plugin. You can add code of different languages. This is the code to limit the images to 4. As you can see, I am using this class which is mentioned here. Basically in this code what we are doing is you are setting the height of the thumbnail images and then using the property overflow hidden which means that whatever image is overflowing from the height which is mentioned those images will be hidden from your page. After activating this code, refresh your page, click on the update button and then refresh. Here the images are limited to 4. You also have other images but those images are hidden as I have set a height according to my design because I want to show only four images over here. Now let's see that what is the next step which we need to follow. We are done with the step number one. Step number two is to add the functionality of moving the images from next to previous button. For this you need to activate this code which is the add filter code which is already in the WooCommerce. We need to add this code to activate it. Copy this code to the function.php file from here appearances. You can go to theme file editor. Select function.php file. And then apply your code over here. Comment these lines. This is the add filter code, and this is the function of this code. Click on the update button. Your file is added. Now let's refresh the page 
as here previous and next buttons are available after applying this code now let's see that whether these buttons are working or not so the buttons are working and these are the images which are hidden from your page but it is also showing those images it means that it is working fine when click on the previous button it will go to the last image and then the second last third last and here you can see that through these buttons you can go to the images means that that the function of this these buttons are working fine but the position of the arrows are not set also there are no arrows over here we need to add the arrows and we need to set the position of these buttons as i have added this code in function.php file some code is added to my page which was not there previously but after adding this code will be appear in my page like this is the code which is the flex direction navigation flex direction navigation is the class of both these arrows and flex navigation previous is for the previous button and flex navigation next is for the next button now we need to make changes in these class so that we can set the position of the arrow also the arrows will be appear after we will make changes in the css classes this is the code here i am using the position absolute this is the class which i show you before over here where we need to make changes flex direction navigation we are setting the position we are giving the height of the arrows using z index with left margin padding list style should be none display flex flex direction column justify content space between this is flex navigation previous button in which i am setting it according to my design you have to change it according to your design flex next and previous visibility hidden means that i don't want to visible the word previous and hidden i want it to be hidden so that so this previous and next words will be hidden from this page now this is the code to bring the arrows like this this is this is the code for the arrow and i am using font awesome plugin after using font awesome plugin the arrows will be appear in your screen if you are not using font awesome plugin then only square boxes will appear as i added this font awesome plugin let me show you this is this is the font awesome plugin which i am using and after using this plugin the arrows will be appear in my screen active this code which is the direction of the arrows let's see it again this is the code click on the update button let's refresh the code now as you can see that the arrows position are set you can make changes to this code according to your design the arrows position is set but the slider is not working to achieve this we need to add javascript code which means that we added the functionality of moving the images also we set the position of the arrows now we need to add the slider in the thumbnail images this is the code javascript code in which you, we are using index of the image to scroll as per my design i am using a style margin top minus 10 minus 50 pixel you need to change it according to your design after applying this your image will move down it will scroll down 
here we are using mutation observer through mutation observer we are keeping the record of the flex active class flex active class is applied to the image which is active currently for example if this image is active so the flex act active class is applied to this image if this image is active then it is applied to this image and it will this this will be for all the images for all the active images now the mutation observer is keeping the record of the flex active class and according to that class the slider is moving like if this class is active then the slider will move to this image if this class if this image is active like uh, the flex active class is applied to this image then it will move to the second image so this is the whole javascript code which you need to apply after applying this code refresh the page and see that whether this code is working this is the second image third image fourth image now as you can see that the fifth image also appeared after applying javascript code this is the 6 7 8 this is the last image now it will go back to the first image also the next button it is going to the last image and then second last third last which means that after applying javascript code the slider is working fine In case you are confused, let's revise the code. This is the code to limit the images to 4 in which we are setting the height of the thumbnail images and using the property overflow hidden. Then we need to add this code to add the functionality of arrows which is in the function.php file here this flex slider code after applying this code we set the height we set the position of the arrows and this these are the settings After doing this, we use the JavaScript code. Which is this code. And after applying this code, uh, the slider, image slider is working. You may have questioned that whether we can achieve this slider through plugin. So yes, you can achieve this you can search for plugin there are so many plugins which are paid also there are free, free plugins this is the link of the free plugin which is the plugin is product gallery slider for woocommerce you can download it from here also you can search it from the plugin section which is there in the wordpress dashboard this is also a plugin tp woocommerce product gallery you can also use this plugin also this is a plugin in case if you don't want to use thumbnail Coracel and you want the Coracel in the big image you can use this plugin I will provide you the links in the description box also the code which I used over here I'll apply I'll I will provide you in the description box I hope you find this tutorial helpful and easy to use and you understand the explanation which I give to you in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.